This is my first finished Arduino project. Um, it's basically a bank of 70 LEDs, all controllable by the Arduino. And uh, I have a couple buttons here that let you control it. It's currently asleep. Uh, if I press this, it'll kick into life. Um, I'm sure you can figure out which is which. Uh, and then these uh, runners here are uh, some blood wood. And um, the LEDs sit in just some foam craft paper, which was very easy just to stick the LEDs into to do the rat's nest soldering job. Let me just back here. Actually, it looks a lot more complicated than it is. These are two IDE cables, and I just stripped the ends of all of them, and I soldered the positive side to each of the LEDs, and then um, all of the negative sides just connect all together. So um, even though it looks very complicated, it actually only took about two hours to do. And then this is uh, my circuit board that I had made, which um, essentially has two M5451 uh, constant current LED drivers. Each one of those chips drives 35 outputs, um, so 70 in total. And then you can't really see it, but under that is the uh, Arduino board. You can see it's power light, just barely glowing there. And then finally on the input side, um, I have three switches, two pots here and here, which do things like um, control both the uh, number of LEDs that light up simultaneously and also the um, rate at which um, the length of time that they stay lit. And then finally a push button switch here. Um, these uh, rotating dials, of course, are done with uh, pots and the push button switch is just a switch um, which I actually connected it uh, to a bolt so the, the, the wood here is 
just connect into a bolt with a spring right here and then the head of the bolt there pushes into just a normal uh, push button switch which I rescued from a uh, old printer. So all of these inputs go into a breadboard which is located here which may be a little difficult to see but it essentially just implements a couple of voltage dividers um, so that the Arduino can read the values through their analog inputs. And that's the whole system, accounting software, which is of course 90% of the effort to make the lights blink in interesting patterns.